My name is Ruth Briggs King. I'm a representative from the 37th District, which is Georgetown to Lewis and parts in between. I've always had an interest in public service, and becoming a legislator was a natural step. I worked on campaigns when I was a little girl with my family, was involved in a lot of different campaigns, and I was always in student government. So it was just a natural transition when my family was old enough and some other uh, work concerns were uh, to a stage where I could take more of a, a interest and in, an ability to serve, I did. I think women face some different challenges than men in seeking office, and that's that we're still primarily the caregivers of the, the children in our homes and still primarily the home providers, even though we work outside of the home. And so we're inclined more to, to be that parent first and that legislator second. And for, in, a case, in my case, that was one of the reasons I really didn't run until I could devote full-time attention to being uh, a representative, because it is a very demanding schedule, and it's hard to divide a mom into too many pieces. I think the female's voice is extremely important. We have a different perspective and different experience. I think each legislator brings unique things to the legislature. And being a woman and knowing firsthand uh, what the current costs are at the grocery store, the hours that are the child spends in school, juggling uh, multitasking and juggling schedules and everything. And so I think we bring a unique perspective that if we weren't there, it might not be heard necessarily in the legislature. It's jobs, jobs, jobs. It's the economic challenges that we have um, coupled with family values. And we see a lot of education concerns. And we know the more involved our parents are in the education process, the potential, the better impact that we have on really creating some quality schools and, and, and students that are well prepared for moving on. I think those are pretty common interests throughout the state and common concerns, but if we don't have jobs, then we have challenges with parents that are working a great distance from home to provide or they're having trouble providing. So I think the number one thing for most of us is jobs. Joint Finance Committee is, first of all, the outstanding opportunity to learn about how government really functions, how it's funded, and you get a lot of information on the aspects of government that you just don't in the regular legislature. But you are correct in thinking, and so are many Delawareans, that it is, um, it is a tremendous job because you're making decisions about the income, which means where you're going to get the revenue to do the many things that you need to do. And particularly in the current economic climate where Delaware's revenues, our revenues have been decreasing for the last few years because that's generally what's happened in the economy. Yet our needs in Delaware have increased. And so it's a very careful balance of balancing the needs and the wants with what we can really afford. So it's a very serious, involved process. I am pleased in Delaware that we do balance our budget. We make that commitment. Um, last year was my first year on joint finance. We got the budget out early, so legislators had plenty of opportunity to review that, ask questions, and make comments. I think as a former teacher and, and a former parent of a public school student, and I'll soon have grandchildren one day in public schools, that we need to be continually looking for improvements in the way that we deliver. But I'll come back again to the family values being so important. The children succeed much better, and so do the schools, when, when the parents are active, when they're in the buildings frequently, in the classrooms, and engaged in giving feedback. Because it, is, it takes all of us to have a successful educational experience. Well, I'm frequently seen around here as being a bit of a jokester at times to bring some levity to a situation or um, playing maybe even devil's advocate to bring out another side to make sure we've engaged in a, in a full discussion. I thought when I sat down in this chair today, if, if I could share a funny story, it would be that when I was a little girl, my feet didn't reach the floor on the school bus. And when I come in some of the large chairs here in Legislative Hall, I have difficulty with my feet reaching the floor if I sit all the way back in the chair. And, uh, and sometimes I enjoy that little, um, that little bit of humor to myself when I sit down and think I have to lean forward and sit straight so my feet touch the floor at all times.